Welcome to another Stamps in the Mail Club tutorial. I am going to show you how to do a fun basket weave card. So we're going to set these pieces aside for a second. To do our main part of our card here, we are using the So Very Grateful stamp set. And I'm just going to go ahead and stamp this here on the corner. And I'm going to stamp it again because I'm going to do some coloring with washi tape. So I need one to use black and white and then one to color with washi tape. So if you haven't seen coloring with washi tape yet, it is a super fun technique. Um, and it is a way to add patterns to your colored items. So I just have a piece of washi tape from the gingham garden here. And I'm going to go ahead and tape it over my flower okay like that and then what I'm going to do is go ahead and cut out around my flower like so and then when I'm done I have a um, piece of colored flower so neat pattern washi tape and I have a second one that I've done here through the magic of television so I'm going to go ahead and go back to my black and white image here though and just cut all the way around. So once you have your pieces cut out, then go ahead and just grab a Stampin' Dimensional. I'm going to stick that right on there and then I'm going to match up the flower that we just cut out. Okay, So that gives you kind of a cool dimensional effect. And then let's see one more here for the little yellow flower. And we'll slide that baby up there. Okay, so there we have our centerpiece for our card. So what we need next is to get our um, basket weave kind of started. And I'm going to fold my cardstock in half. Um, this is Island Indigo. And when we layer here, we're going to go ahead and layer our centerpiece on a piece of vellum that's cut with the labels collection um, framelit. So just to get that ready, I will go ahead and put some dimensionals on the back and stick this down just about not like that all right now we need to do our basket weave so I have here um, three strips of designer series paper that were from are from the gingham garden um, designer paper set and I'm gonna go ahead and cut them in half so and then these need a ribbon kind of end so I'll go ahead and cut those ends and I'm gonna go ahead and lay these out three of them you can pick which sides of your paper you want to use. Uh, we'll kind of do that. And I have them sort of um, using my card base as a size um, a size thing here, sizing tool. And then I'm going to grab my other half and I'm going to cut them ahead in half again. So we have uh, three 12 by half inch strips and then I'm going to cut them into three inch, three inch, and six inch plus or minus. So, all right. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start to weave these a little bit. So this one's gonna go on top, this one's gonna go under, and this one's gonna go on top. See how that works? Then the next strip, I'll kind of pick a different color here, is going to go under, over, and then under. All right, the next strip, let's see, I think we need a yellow, is going to go over, under, over. And then, you guessed it, uh, under, over, under. And as you go down the line, your basket weave will start to hold itself together, which is very handy because then you don't have to work so hard holding it together. Um, let's see. Oh, I did that one backwards. All right. And you know what? There's one more strip, but I think I'm not going to use it. Um, my basket weaves looks pretty, pretty big right now. So depending on how you feel about things, you can make that a little bit, um, neater or you can just leave it like mine is a little bit cockeyed in places, but however you're going to get it kind of set. And then I'm going to use my, um, liquid adhesive, which is my very favorite thing here. And my basket weave kind of holds together. Check that out. And so what I'm going to do now is tap down my glue and put some glue. Okay, it helps to have one that's not empty. Tap down my glue and just put some adhesive here on the back of these papers. And if you kind of grab the junctions where things cross, then you know you kind of hit the high points. 
and get it all set and then flip it back over. Hey, what do you know? It didn't fall apart. All right, and glue that down. Okay, so there we have our basket weave. And now we have our vellum piece to put over. The trick with vellum is that it will show your adhesive through. So you want to make sure that you put your adhesive only, I grabbed the wrong glue, only where you are covered up by that white um, flower spray because you don't want that to show. All right, so I'm going to layer that right there in the middle. If your papers are sticking out the ends, you may need to trim. And I'm going to turn that end the other way because you don't want your, uh, you don't, you need your card to go in the envelope. So, All right, so there's our basket weave. And to finish it up, I'm going to grab my stays on in this little slip of paper here and stamp thank you uh, right here on my strip. Okay, oh, that's why cardstock has two sides, right? And the Stampin' Up! cardstock is great. It doesn't um, bleed through, so when you mess up, like the one I just did, then you can go ahead and flip it over and stamp again. So I'm going to make a banner end, and then I think I'll trim this down because I just want it to tuck underneath here like this. Oh, looks like I'll trim it a little more. All right, so I'm going to trim this, stick it down here. We'll put some green glue here on the back liquid adhesive. Stick that down and then I'm going to um, grab a rhinestone from the ones that are included in the Stamps and Mail Club kit. Stick that down and there we have our a very um, simple but kind of fun uh, for something a little different basket weave card. This is a great way to use up those little scraps of designer series paper that you have left over from other projects. So, you know, the ones that are all sitting in the bottom of the bag of paper and you think, oh, I should save that for something. So here's what you're saving them for.